A group of local Austinites is wanting to get the word out on a preventable cancer. If you catch it early, that is rarely ever talked about, bladder cancer. Here's the thing, it can affect anyone, but if it's caught early, this is something, again, that is treatable. And joining us now is Dr. Aaron Laviana, who works at Del Seton Medical Center. Thank you so much for being here to talk about this. Yeah, my, uh, it's, it's my pleasure here, thank you. We, we love having you, and you know, this cancer really doesn't make the headlines. You know, we, we talk about other forms of cancer, but we really don't talk about bladder cancer. So can we start off today, tell us the sort of signs and symptoms, and who does this really affect? Yeah, like you said, you talk about prostate cancer, colon cancer, breast cancer, but uh, it's the fourth uh, most leading cause of, of, of cancer in men in America and seventh most common cause of cancer overall. And it typically affects people over 55 to 60, but um, we definitely see it in people, some people in the 20s, 30s, 40s even too. Um, with regard to signs and symptoms, the most common sign is, 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 is blood in the urine. Uh, that's typically painless. Mm -hmm. um, Something in females to watch out for is urinary tract infections and recurrent urinary tract infections. Um, and so not just treating that up to, to just a run of the mill uh, infection. And I know you just men mentioned women. I, I'm hearing that it can affect women differently than, man, than men. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely more common in men. Um, the number one risk factor overall is, is smoking. And it's about four times more common in, in men um, but that said, females often are diagnosed at a later stage because it's, it's attributed to, to other causes. Gotcha. So it sort of goes undetected more so in women. Are there any ways to prevent this? Uh, the biggest way to prevent this would be is, is, is smoking, uh, gotcha. is, 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 is never starting. Even if you smoked 40 years ago, you're still at a much, much higher risk of, of, of getting bladder cancer here. Talk to us a little bit about the importance of early detection and sort of listening to your body on this one. Yeah, definitely. So thankfully, 80% of these are what we call superficial tumors. Mm -hmm. So they're not into the muscle wall of the bladder. And, and, in, the, and in that case, the, the survival rate is, is fantastic. Um, but as it progresses, the survival rate, unfortunately, decreases quite fast or qu quite quickly there. Mm -hmm. So a anytime you see blood in the urine, um, it, it's, it's highly advisable to, to, to see a doctor as soon as possible. Well, thank you so much for shedding some light on this. Again, you know, we just don't often hear about it, but I think awareness is always really helpful. And I know that you'll be showing up uh, to a walk this Saturday. So you got your uh, your tennis shoes on and ready? <laughs> yes, 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 absolutely. So uh, yeah, tomorrow at 9 a.m. At, at Peace Park, uh, there's the new troll there. We will be meeting and uh, oh, great. expect a great turnout there. So. That's, this is awesome. And so just for the official name, the Walk for Bladder Cancer Advocacy Network is putting this on. Again, just as you heard the doctor today, it's happening at Peace Park. Folks are meeting there on Saturday morning and uh, you know it should be a good group. Yes, absolutely. Right. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you.